Before starting her day at the Eco Hub, Amy Schnur always greets the lake. Fortunately, with the state of the environment and climate change and the needs of nature, um, we've never been busier. The community needs us more than ever before. And so while we're popping all over the place in Burlington, we really needed to lay down some roots. And this could not be the more perfect location at the historic pump house at the busy beach. Burlington Green started almost 15 years ago, hosting their first informal cleanup at the beach with volunteers gathering litter. That would be kind of the seed, the beginning of now we've had, it's become our flagship event. We've expanded it to be almost all year long and we've had over 110,000 people participate. And so I always say, you know, never, never underestimate the value of just a handful of people and the significance they can make, but also the seed of an idea and then it, it just blossoms, it just grows. The new headquarter location was a dream that started when they were working on beach restoration plantings in 2013. We need to meet people where they are because again, the state of the environment, we need to have fun on the beach, play, enjoy the water, play frisbee, be with family, but we shouldn't lose sight of the fact that it's actually one of the most ecologically you know, sensitive areas in the region. It's the only dune environment in Halton region. And so it's, we're sharing this space, right, with other birds and insects and wildlife and the dune environment and the grasses, et cetera. And so um, we have signage and we have those things here and we have the results of 26,000 plants that volunteers put in the ground. But by having a physical presence here now um, as part of that journey and our T-shirts and our building and all of our display materials and happy faces chatting with people, it brings to life or just emphasizes all of that hard work that we've done over the years and there's more work to be done. They've already rejuvenated the interior and have several other improvements in mind. Bringing in a beautiful willow table that some local artists made for us that came from the willow trees right down at Spencer Smith Park and outdoors we want to have it like a demonstration so people can learn as they're in this space what they could do at home so we're planting pollinator gardens so people can learn about which plants to attract butterflies and bees because sadly our pollinators really need some help. Other opportunities here are going to be immense for outreach and programming and then the hands-on work. It was lovely the other day a senior with her grandchild borrowed some of our litter pickers and went along the beach and so they had a lovely day picking up litter. They brought it back and we weighed it and we gave them a hero button to say thank you. So yeah, it's just been really well received, but it's evolving. We're gonna do something, you know, different seasons of the year as well. While they have their new headquarters, Burlington Green will continue to be at events and locations around the city. The comments coming from the community are quite amazing. And one of the most common ones is kind of like, what a perfect fit, right? Because it is nature, it's the beauty, it's the water. And they say, what a perfect fit. And others say like, where have you been? <laughs> You know, they were almost waiting for us to be here. So, yeah, um, yeah, it's, it feels really tremendous to kind of, it feels like coming home. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.